What is up everyone? It is Dylan from Class 1A bringing you another My Hero Academia chapter breakdown. This week we have chapter 343, Let You Down. And I hope you're ready because we are in the end game now. No, I mean like literally like Orko, she's like copying end game stuff now. We kick off the chapter with All For One on the phone with Aoyama's mother speaking in code, asking about getting wine delivered by their son. All For One has a quirk that allows him to detect lies and deceit in people, and she seems to be telling the truth here. And this just really makes sense on why All For One is able to keep such a tight support group near like his inner circle and have like no dissent amongst them. It's because if anything comes up, if they're telling lies, they have ill intent, he's able to just deal with them right then and there. Then we cut over to a meeting between Aoyama and Deku. Aoyama seems to have gone back on the plan. He then explains for us All For One's grand plan to destabilize the world's economies and rise up as a center of power with all his quirks. Okay, so All For One's motivations here are just straight out of like old comic book villains. I absolutely love it. It's just like, I'm going to control the world by destabilizing. Like very simple, very straightforward. Um, again, I love seeing Horikoshi's nods to like old comics and stuff like that. So this is, I love it. And it's really funny because all the villains that we've seen so far have had like philosophical approaches to like why they're doing the things that they're doing. Shigaraki wants to destroy the earth, Overhaul want to cleanse the sickness that is like quirks on society, and like even Stain want to kill fake heroes, like all philosophical kind of things here. But all for one, very different. What he wants is very material. Then at the peak of his explanation, all for one appears right in front of Deku. In what we see as an ultimate betrayal is actually a triple cross. And Aoyama reveals drawing out all for one was his plan all along. Okay, Horikoshi, please. I just, I, I can't do it anymore. I, my, my heart cannot take it. These double, triple, quadruple crosses here. Like my, my heart can't take it. I No more deception, please. Just, just, just give me Aoyama here. And I can't believe we're actually getting Aoyama in such an awesome spotlight here. I mean, he was basically just like a throwaway side character for all of my hero for so long. He's always in the back, always like the least popular kid in the class, like to all the fans and whatnot. And then to just be able to bring him around and turn him into a character we actually care about and like we're rooting for this whole time is just incredible. And like, who would have thought like by season one, like if, if I told you that Aoyama was gonna be pivotal to the end game here, like what would your reaction be then? Okay, so obviously Aoyama's parents were in on this plan from the start when they were talking with All For One. Now, how did All For One not detect the liar ill intent here? Okay, and we've actually seen this once before in My Hero Academia Vigilantes. Now, I won't spoil what's going on in the scene or anything like that, just kind of describe like the events of it. Uh, so Tsukichi actually has a sister and his little sister is involved in, in that whole story and whatnot. Uh, but she actually has a quirk that's lie detector. She can detect lies. Now, the pivotal moment there was she asked a question, but is worded just slightly wrong and someone was able to get out of like the, the questioning there and it seemed like a truth. Now, I think that's one thing to remember for this quirk. And the other thing lies in this panel right here. If you look at his mother's face and her eyes specifically, this is totally the same eyes Deku had when he was being brainwashed by Shinzo. So I think that they got around the quirk by actually brainwashing her to say these things and to kind of like hide the ill intent. Then in some real end game stuff, All For One calls forth Johnny's teleportation quirk Villains are everywhere. And again, Horikoshi giving nods to American superheroes and stuff like that. I, I just love it. I love him bamboying out like this. And like some of the notable villains here are of course Shigaraki, Dobby, and Toga. Search has confirmed tracking on many of the heroes and they're scattered miles from each other. No hope here, right? Wrong, because in a surprise move, Monoma has copied Kurgiri's quirk to portal all the heroes from all over in as well. And that is where we end the chapter. Okay, I, I I can't I can't understate how hyped I am right now. I mean, like this is it. Like we we are getting the fight. The fight is gonna happen here. Okay, so notable heroes here right now: Deku, Endeavor, Fat Gum, Gang Orca, Ed Shot, and Miriko with an incredibly sick robot arm. And yes, of course, Wash. I didn't forget about them. Again, big props to Horikoshi here for utilizing every character and making every character feel important in some way. I mean, having Monoma come in and be a big pivotal role is just so incredibly cool. I mean, I love his character. Like his character is just amazing. And we haven't seen him now for like probably hundreds of chapters, like all the way back when it was still class 1A versus 1B kind of stuff. Okay, so things are getting incredibly, incredibly serious now. And like the big question is, is the rest of the series just in this fight here? 
And I think yes and also no at the same time. So I don't think that it's all gonna go down here because remember, the plan is actually to separate all the villains from each other. So what's probably gonna happen is Monoma's gonna start teleporting people just like from this scene all over the place, all over Japan and just separating people, which is gonna lead to some incredibly sick one-on-one -on -one fights. Okay, and I think the big thing here is there's a lot of missing heroes like Todoroki and Bakugo. So we're gonna see them teleported to different areas so that they can kind of surprise attack them. But I think that there's another layer that goes a little bit deeper here because in in the whole like switching and throwing people different places don't forget toga could have just brought in a fake army here she could have taken uh twice as quirk and then copied like all the different villains and set in like some fake ones here so like in, in like an ultimate move by all for one of course like he could have kind of foresaw this or something like this kind of happening and that's why he was able to bring everyone in so quickly so if he was able to bring everyone so quickly he probably had like forethought in there and so like the fake army of like going into a place and not knowing, is this the real version of them? Am I fighting the real version? Is this here? Is this where the stakes lie or should they try to escape? I think there's gonna be a lot of deception here and a lot of like real battles mixed in with fake ones is, is gonna be chaos, absolute chaos here. And also don't forget spinners also like walking around the streets with the huge mob as well. So like there's gonna be like this main fight, it's gonna split into a ton of different smaller fights. Some of them real, some of them fake. We're gonna have like stuff that's going on at UA, stuff that's probably gonna go on at Troy. I mean, you wouldn't introduce a place called Troy and then not do something crazy with it. Like, I, I think there's just gonna be battles scattered all throughout Japan here. The next couple of chapters are gonna be bonkers though, like absolutely crazy. Like I, I assume that this entire next arc that we're, we just entered in here is just gonna be the second war battle arc of like, just, just fights, just fights all the time, chapter after chapter after chapter after chapter, crazy fights, crazy flashbacks, heartfelt moments like what's coming up in this chapter is gonna be insane but we will just find out next week when we get another chapter from my hero academia hope you're subscribed and i will see you all next class